Getting found in the search engines for your product is a great way to send organic traffic to your site. However, it can be a little bit challenging. So in this video, I'm gonna give you some tips on how to do just that. Let's be real, there's a lot of online competition nowadays, no matter what industry you're in or what products you create. But it's super important to get your products listed in the search engine when people are searching for your products. This sends organic traffic to your site and very targeted customers to you. So it's really important to do, but to be honest, it's gonna take some time. A great way to actually start sending traffic to your site through the search engines though, is by focusing on long tail keywords. So this means going by a, a lot more of a longer, more specific keyword than something short. So for an example of this is you wouldn't, if you sell bath and body products, you wouldn't want to just go off the keyword of soap. No one's going to be going to Google and just typing in soap because they would have so many results and it would be too much to actually look through. They're going to type in something a little bit more specific for whatever product type that they're looking for of soap specifically. So you want to think exactly how your customer is trying to actually find your products online. What is it that they are describing your products as? Or how would they actually go to the search engines and look for your product? You wanna think through of exactly how your customer would be searching for your products and add those keywords into your site in a few different places, but you wanna be really specific with it. So these SEO long-term keywords are going to be really crucial in getting your site ranked faster. So going back to that soap example, if we take a look at a site like Royalty Soaps, which creates really fun and unique designs, you can see here that they have a product that is a succulent artisan soap. So they wouldn't wanna use the keyword of just soap to try and get their product listed in the search engines because that's just too broad. But also you wouldn't wanna to go too niche with it. So no one's probably looking for succulent soap. That's a, a bit more descriptive just based on the overall design and not something that someone's probably actually looking for specifically. Instead, they would want to go off of a keyword like artisan soap or use part of the fragrance of the soap to actually describe it. So something like sandalwood handmade artisan soap. That's a lot more specific of what someone might be actually searching for. And it's very specific for the actual soap that they are making. Also, you wanna think about other long tail keywords that you can do on other areas of your site, not just for your product page. So for example, they make all of their soap in Texas in the US. So for their about page, they may wanna use keywords like handmade soap in the USA or things like that that people are still searching for and use those keywords on their about page. Once you've figured out exactly the keywords that you think people are going to be searching for when trying to find your products or your brand, you can then include them in different places on your site. So you could include it on your product title in your description, in the SEO meta description area for your products or your pages. This is a great way to start really building up this SEO keywords and get ranked in the search engines faster. So again, it's super crucial to know exactly who your ideal customer is and how they're going to be searching for your products. This is really going to lead the way in terms of how to find the keywords to actually embed on your site so that you can know exactly how to target your customers and hopefully get ranked in the search engines. I hope you found this video tutorial helpful. We've got more Shopify quick tips videos just like this one that you can see over here in a playlist. Also, if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe. We post new videos every week all about Shopify and how to grow your online store.